So far, Lindbergh has said she will not resign. KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle is here. And Josh, that stance might impact how much money her office might get. That's right. That could happen. Some wonder whether the governor will veto that funding in the state budget if she doesn't resign. It could mean losing $7.5 million crucial to the Public Integrity Unit, which, among other things, investigates allegations against government officials. It comes down to the question, at what cost does her staying in office come to Texans? I think everybody makes a mistake occasionally, and she did on, uh, on one occasion. I think everyone deserves a second chance. They're pretty serious charges. Her behavior was pretty uh, serious. I think that's okay. Um, I think she should voluntarily resign. The governor's office hasn't announced a veto yet, but says he's still going through each line in the budget and does have deep concerns with the integrity of the unit. But critics have their own concerns that the state doesn't fund that unit. Right now, it is investigating a criminal complaint filed by Progress Texas into wrongdoing at the state agency over cancer research. For Perry himself uh, to say, I want to zero out funding, he's basically saying, I'm going to kill the investigation into me and my friends. Now, Perry's office tells me he's reached out to Austin Senator Kirk Watson amid the fate of the DA. Watson could have some influence over what happens. If Lindbergh does step down, Perry appoints her replacement. Right now, it's a Democratic post. Perry's a Republican, which could mean a big change. So far, Lindbergh has said she won't resign, but she says that she will not run again when her term is up in 2016. Yeah, and this isn't the first time we've heard rumblings over the Capitol about uh, Lindbergh's resignation. Yeah, that's right. We had a lot of Republicans during the session calling for her resignation. One even went so far as to say if she did not resign, the Attorney General's office should actually take over that public integrity unit instead of Travis County. Okay, Josh, thank you. The Travis County Public Integrity Unit is funded by the state of Texas. This unit is responsible for investigating cases anywhere in Texas involving public corruption, insurance, and tax fraud. There are currently more than 420 cases pending in that unit. The governor has to decide what to do about funding the matter by this Sunday. That is the deadline he has to sign or veto bills deciding whether or not the Travis County DA's office gets this money.